What's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, for being subscribed. If you're not, go ahead and hit that button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit that like button. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this reality chat. First, I want you guys, if you are not already, go and subscribe to What's Happening on YouTube. I just love her voice. I love the way that she brings the information that she brings. And she's one of the content creators that when she gets information from social media or people's live videos or whatever, that I just don't want to have the time to do or (laughs) even the interest to do that. Even if I had the time to do it, I appreciate her being thorough and getting the details and all of that good stuff. So Go and subscribe to her channel and you can do so by going to the link to the full video that I'm going to be talking about that's in my description box. Because listen, I just wanted to talk about this really quick. Destiny Payton, who used to be in Love and Marriage Huntsville, and a lot of us who do or have watched the show are aware of who she is and how she came on the show. Honestly, just being on 10 when it came to what it looked like to be 10 toes down for Melody. But honestly, in my personal opinion, I just felt like she was doing too much then. And usually people like that, when they do things like that, it's indicative of how they will be if they fall out with that same person, that it's usually not going to be pretty. And we saw the fallout of the supposed friendship on the show. And it was just... It was just really ugly. And even after that, just jabs that she would throw and innuendos and insinuations about Melody and, and, you know, being Hotel's friend and, and just a lot of those different things. It just wasn't respectable, in my personal opinion. And a lot of people couldn't stand her for that. I understand. I understand. But even with that being said... You know, every dog has its day. That's an old saying. And even even in the Bible, when um, I don't remember where it comes from, but there were there were some people that were asking some things of Jesus and and Jesus was like, it's not, you know, good to give, you know, to give to whatever it was, but the the people who were asking of Jesus, they were like, well, you know, even the dogs get the crumbs <laughs> that fall off of the table. So I just, I just tell that to say, it's when someone's down, you don't really want to kick them when they're down. Yes, you're going to go through things and experience stuff and karma definitely is real. And I try to live my life as if karma exists, but there's some people who don't. But even with karma, There are just some things it's like, uh, is this really karma or is this just a plain old dirty, messy situation? Now, I'm not even going into her arrest and the situation with her ex-husband, but we know that's a down moment, a big down moment for her. But now it's being reported that this guy that she was dating, which I didn't follow any of that stuff like I told you, I don't follow a lot of that stuff that goes on with these people on social media and in their lives. But I, I remember her having an interview with Carlos King and she was talking about her boyfriend. I think his name was Moses. But anyway, don't know when that relationship ended, but apparently this guy that she was dating just recently married a producer of Love and Marriage Huntsville And that is so messy. I want to just play this little clip, but you can go watch the entire video. I have the link in the description box. Destiny Payton's former boyfriend is now married to a producer of Love and Marriage Huntsville. Now, someone please tell me, where do they do that at? How is it that this man was just with Destiny last December? This video right here was from last December, literally just one year ago. And now he's married to someone else? Destiny just can't seem to catch a break. I mean, this has not been 
the greatest year for her. But the producer, whose name is Sunny, she made a post on Instagram and she says, the Bible says a man that finds a wife finds a good thing. I prayed for this my whole life. I refused to settle for less because I knew I was a wife and just needed the right man to see me. People told me I was crazy waiting for marriage in today's times, but I knew my faith in the Lord would not lead me astray. Patience is a virtue, and now I truly understand why good things come to those who wait. God has truly blessed me with the desires of my heart with this one. Ladies, it don't take years to get a ring from a man. If he knows what he wants, sees your value, and is led with God's purpose. It's official. I'm off the market now. Call me Mrs. Monroe. I got my forever spades partner. I told y'all one day I would pop up married. Wedding coming soon, 2024. All right, I'm going to stop it right there. I honestly was laughing as <laughs> as she was reading this social media post from this chick because, listen, I don't know if this is the brag that she thinks that it is and that this is something to be envied. One, I don't know much about this guy, but to me, just the optics of it all, it looks messy. And I'm not even talking about on the chick's part. I'm talking about this guy because without knowing all of the details, just the surface of what it appears he looks like a social climber. And yeah, we know that there are females that are social climbers. Social climbers just all around are people who are opportunists. And it's not good for either gender to be a social climber and a user and an opportunist because there's nothing genuine and authentic. And they're sole purpose is just to get and to take. And so when you see a man that's like that, there's something, I I feel that there, there's a character flaw there when it comes to a man that's doing that. Granted, I don't know what his status is at the bank, like Nene said a long time ago. I think she said that to Sheree. Maybe, I can't remember who she said it to, but she said, what's your status at the bank? But... I don't know his status at the bank. I don't know what his career is. I I don't know. But from reading the comments in the comment section from this video, there were some things about him possibly having a criminal history. Not saying people can't change for the better or made some past wrong decisions and you're deciding to make better decisions moving forward. I get that. But All of this, the Bible says a man that finds a wife finds a good thing. Girl, like, get out of here with the scriptures because I just don't think that this is something that she wants to be bragging on. Maybe come back in 10 years. (laughs) And listen, I'm that's even a stretch. Maybe come back in 10 years and, and let us know how things are going because to literally just be married... Who knows how long they were dating? And I'm not saying you have to date someone for an extremely long time before they decide to marry you. I think it's a great thing because it's usually, it is true. That's not usually. It is true. A man, he knows when he is with a woman, if that's someone that he really truly wants to be with for the rest of his life. And so that is a true thing. But with this situation... I don't know. I I really don't know. Because the things that she said in the social media post about patience is a virtue. And now I truly understand why good things come to those who wait. God has truly blessed me with the desires of my heart with this one. Hmm. We shall see. You you really don't know. Sometimes what you think is a gift and a blessing could possibly be a curse. And listen, I just feel that those who think that, oh, this is good for Melody, uh, not Melody, this is good for Destiny, and this is what she gets, this is her karma, she lost her husband, and now she lost her boyfriend, she lost the house, and then she got locked up, and all this stuff. I, I'm like, my God. 
I, I know some, I have had some people that have done some dirty, shady things to me and I'm still waiting on them to get their karma. So I'm just, I'm just saying, I know that we all have had people that we've experienced some things that were just dreadful and devious and we're still waiting, not saying we're sitting with bated breath saying, okay, what day is it going to happen for them to get their comeback, get their payback? But it's just possible that Destiny got with some guys that just were not good for her. It doesn't mean that this guy is going to be bad for this woman, but for her to be on here bragging about it when she knows that this person dated someone that used to be on a show that she was a producer of girl i just don't think this is something that you need to be bragging about and then she says i told y'all one day i would pop up married wedding coming soon 2024 so i guess they already got married but then they're going to have the wedding which there's nothing wrong with that either but she said, I knew I was a wife and just needed the right man to see me. Oh, my God. People like that that said they prayed to be a wife forever and they always dreamed of their wedding. I, I feel like people like that need therapy. And I'm speaking from someone who has been married for 25 years now. And I've been with my husband longer than 25 years. OK, I. I. I'm grateful for my spouse. I'm grateful for being married to my best friend. That's not everyone's story, but I will never sit and brag about that. And I've never been the person that dreamt about my wedding or always wanting to be married. It just happened to happen for me. And, you know, and I'm I'm grateful to God for it. But for people that are like this, and then the man that you got, it's questionable whether he really is a prize because to me, it looks like he may have been the one to come up versus you, meaning this this person. I, I don't know. I just, I just thought it was kind of funny. I couldn't help but laugh as I was listening to it because I just felt like she might have been throwing jabs at Destiny. And that's another thing you got to be careful of too because sometimes... It may look like you won when in the end you really didn't. And then you wonder in one day after some time has gone by, what did I get myself into? While that other person is free <laughs> and I bogged down with the baggage that you got attached to, that you got married to, that you got bound to. You claim at first by God and God sent it to you. But then when things start happening, are you going to still believe that God sent this person to you and stick through it through thick and thin for better or for worse, rich or poor and sickness and health like the wedding vows you say state? Probably not. <laughs> so I'm not speaking anything over her or over their marriage. Listen, if it is meant to be and it lasts or they just want to continue to stay in it and work it out, even if things don't seem favorable, more power to you. But I just don't think that this is a prize for her. And I just honestly found it a bit comical to see this person uh, low-key bragging about just getting married. To me, it was just about getting married and saying, I'm a wife. I was married now. Look at my ring. I'm a missus. There are some people like that, and she strikes me as a type that's like that. And honestly, <laughs> just just being beautifully honest, the liars and cheaters of Huntsville, and then she's getting married to a man that was dating someone that used to be on Liars and Cheaters of Huntsville. It, to me, you know, it, it kind of sounds like you've been so used to seeing these traumatic marriages on this show that you wound up getting the same type of man that's what i had to say about it that, that really so you guys can let me know your thoughts go watch the video the link is in the description box let me know your thoughts respectfully guys i really appreciate you being here liking and subscribing i'm beth just being beautifully honest so until the next time i just wanted to keep it brief beautiful and now i'm gonna say bye